Hello there, English learners, and welcome to another lesson. My name is Benjamin, for all you out there who don't know, and today we're going to do another Describing Pictures lesson. Because whether you're doing the exams for FCE or CAE or British Council or anything like this, or generally if you just need it to improve your vocabulary through your life so you can describe things in more detail, this is very, very important. So today I'm going to put 10 pictures on the screen and they're completely random pictures, there's no order to them and I'm going to describe them in some detail and hopefully it will give you some new vocabulary. Okay, here come the pictures. This first picture we have is of two benches and they are standing in front of a red brick wall. At the bottom of the picture, you can see there is green grass growing up underneath the benches. The benches are made of wooden horizontal slats or beams, and they are made of a metal frame. So the armrest that you put under your elbow and the legs of the benches are made of metal. You can see that the red brick wall behind them is peeling, which means the paint is coming off and there is white behind coming through the paint that you could see. So the second picture we have. This is a group of canoes that are sitting at the side of a river. There are six canoes in this picture. There's a blue one at the top right hand side, an orange one, a red one, yellow, green and another red one. They are sitting on the bank of a river and you can see at the top of the picture there is the water that is rippling and reflecting the light from the sky. Underneath the canoes, underneath the green one and the yellow one you can see there is dirt and shrubbery and what's on the side of the river bank. So there are pieces and sticks from the tree and old leaves and bits of moss and things like this under there. In the canoe you can see it's made of plastic. It's a plastic molded shape and it floats very nicely in the water. And there are black straps that are running across the boats which you can put your equipment, you can put clothes, things like this in the straps and it keeps it in place while you are paddling down the river. Okay, the next picture we have. This is a plane. It is an aeroplane and this plane is ready for takeoff. The place where the plane is, is called the runway, and I imagine this plane is maneuvering onto the long runway, ready for the takeoff so it can fly off into the sky. The front of a plane is called a nose, and either side of the nose are two engines. And the engines are attached to the wings, and the wings have the big wings at the front, and then you have the tail wings at the back, which are the smaller wings at the back, and the vertical line at the back of the plane is called a tail. So this is a plane about to take off from the runway. The next picture we have is, this is a group of animals and this is a flock of seagulls. Now in English most animals have a different name for a group of animals and when we have birds it's called a flock of birds. And you can see these seagulls are flying in the sky, but it looks like they're quite close to the ground because you can see some power lines or electricity cables behind them. And it looks like they are swooping down, trying to get some food or they're looking for some food. Behind the flock of seagulls, there are white fluffy clouds in the sky. And you can also see the blue of the sky, which is coming through between the clouds. This next picture looks quite boring, but all of us have this in the buildings that we live in. This is a brick wall and a window. And the window has a wooden frame and you can slide the window up and down to open it. In front of the window, there is a drape. And it's called a drape because it's not quite a curtain. A curtain is what you pull over the window so it blocks the light and people can't see in. But a drape is just for dimming the light so it's harder for people to see in and the drape has been tied at the bottom. So it's a very thin white material that's been tied at the bottom. On the floor, it looks like uh, wooden floorboards which have been polished and you can see the reflection of the window on the floor. On the top left hand side, there is a clock that is hanging on the wall. 
This next picture is of a roll of money, or sometimes it's called a wad of money. And the, uh, the banknotes have been folded in half and they are being held in place with an elastic band. This note is a hundred dollar bill and it's from American currency and I do believe that is Benjamin Franklin, a former president of the United States who is on this picture. Another American icon that we have to describe now, this is the Statue of Liberty and it is standing in New York City, in New York, in America, and it represents freedom and liberty. And it's a woman with her right arm up in the air holding a flame or a torch, and in her left hand she is holding a book. And I don't exactly know the story behind this, but I imagine it's with the laws and the liberty of the land. She is wearing a robe that is hanging down over her, loose-fitting, and she also has a crown. The next picture is also a group of animals, and we talked before about a flock of birds, and this is a flock of sheep. We use the same word for birds and sheep, and they're a flock of sheep. And there are two different types of sheep in this picture. There are adult sheep and there are baby sheep. And adults are called sheep, and babies are called lambs. So if you eat lamb, it is from a baby sheep. And these sheep are grazing on the grass, or they are grazing on grass, and they're eating the grass because this is what sheep eat. You can see in front of the sheep, the shadow is falling on the grass because the sun would be behind these sheep, and it is creating a shadow, so when the person took the photograph, the sun is actually in their face. Another picture we have, this is from a town this time, and it is from an intersection, as Americans call it, or a junction, which is like an X, so there's four roads going in four directions. There is a red and white camper van, which is turning the corner and going around the corner. There are two traffic lights one is with a red light and one is with a green light and these help control the traffic there are street lights and above it there are a lot of cables and these cables are for either a trolley bus or a tram and they supply electricity to the trolleys and the trams and they allow them to go without using petrol or gas and so the last picture we have this is a empty bottle of champagne sitting on a concrete ledge after someone's left it in front of a wet concrete skate park in the middle of a square in a city and actually this looks very much like Prague you can see the trees and the buildings the trees have no leaves on them which means it's probably either autumn or before the spring starts the architecture of the buildings is very typical of Prague so this was leads me to believe it is, even though I don't exactly know where this is. To the right of the picture, there is a skateboard ramp. And this is for skateboarding. And at the very front of the picture, you can see on the concrete ledge, there is some graffiti, which means someone with a spray can sprayed some graffiti on the front of this ledge. So that's everything for now. Here's 10 different photographs I have described for you. I hope you have some new vocabulary from this and I look forward to seeing you in another lesson. Okay, goodbye everybody.